Hello everyone, I'm Stefan, and today we're going to run through a multimodal rag using Pixtrol from Mistral AI and using Milvus. We will actually be deploying Pixtrol with VLLM and we'll run it on Koyeb, which is a cloud infrastructure provider. So stay tuned and let's get started. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to actually query images and text at the same time. You know, Pixtrol is analyzing the image here and then it's also analyzing the text that we're giving to Pixtrol and then it generates the text to explain everything to us. So stay tuned and then you'll be able to do that by the end of the video. As I've said in the intro, we'll do multimodal rag and actually we will do multimodal video rag using Milvus and Pixtrol for Mistral AI. So the goal of this notebook is that you're going to explore different techniques for video analysis and retrieval. So first we're going to process and store the video data. So, you know, we'll see how we can extract some frames and audio as well from YouTube videos and also store those directly into Milvus. Then we'll build a multimodal indexes so you can see how you can create and use indexes for both text and images with Milvus and Lama index. Then we'll have our retrieval part, obviously, you'll have our rag part. And then you'll see how we can uh, use Pixel for multimodal reasoning. And Pixel is the visual language model from Mistral AI actually that was released recently. Then Pixel has actually deployed directly on a cloud-based company that is called Koyab, uh, and it's deployed using VLLM. So you'll see also how you can then, you know, deploy LLMs um, if you have like privacy concerns or different things. So by the end of this notebook, uh, you'll have built a full multimodal video rag that can understand and analyze videos comprehensively. And then you also have an idea of how to use Milvus and everything. So yes. So for this one, the tech stack, I'm starting with Milvus. Milvus is an open source vector database. Um, I'm also going to use Milvus standalone on this one, which means it's just a Docker image that I pulled and that is currently running on my laptop. Then I'm going to use Lama Index. And Lama Index is a data framework for your LM app. And it really allows you to, to like connect to different data points easily. Um, can also help you index your data and, for example, create multimodal indexes. I'm going to then use a uh, Mistral AI model, the vision language model. So I'm going to use Pixel. And Pixel, just so you have an idea, this is the architecture. So it has a vision encoder. And then it also has a transformer decoder. So the vision encoder that is here is tokenizing the image. Um, and then you have the multimodal the transformer decoder, which predicts the next token, given a sequence of text and images. And this model is then trained to predict the next token, you know, uh, with image and text data. So the good part is that Pixel can actually take um, any number of images with different sizes because it has a large context window of 128,000 tokens. So this is the architecture. And then the overall architecture of our multimodal rack system, uh, I will just show you directly the, the image. But So we have the video that then, you know, we create images of, so every two frame, we actually take a screenshot. And then we're going to use OpenAI clip embeddings for that, that will gen generate, you know, some embeddings for our images. Then we also convert the audio to text, and then we can create those text embeddings. Then everything is stored into Milvus. And then when we have a user coming or ourselves, you know, the query, we also transform this query with our embeddings. Um, and then we run the semantic search on image plus text. Then we're going to return the similar data, we're going to give that back to Pixel, um, and then we give the response to our user. So yes, so this is the idea. This is the, um, you know, this is the architecture we have for now. And yes, let's actually get started. So I have all the dependencies here. Uh, but here, you know, we're just going to import actually you know, speech recognition, which allows us to actually uh, transcribe the audio into text. Uh, PyTube is what allows us to, to download the video from YouTube. Um, and then MoviePy is actually what allows us to actually um, have the frames then uh, of the YouTube video. I am going to load the API key because I'm going to use uh, the embedding models of Mistral. Yeah, so by default, um, the different embedding for images is going to be Clip from OpenAI. Lama Index is already using this one by default, so I don't need to change it. And then for the text, we're actually going to use uh, Mistral embedding models because given that we're using Pixel for Mistral, it just makes sense to actually use something that is also from them. So I'm just defining you know, the default embedding we have. So it's going to be Mistral embeddings. Um, and then here, we're going to download the data. So I have my video URL. You know, I can show you actually the video. So this is 
the video we'll be sharing, which is a video from 3 Blue one Brown, uh, which is about Gaussian. So yes, this is the video we'll have. And then I'm going to have an output, you know, we're going to put that in, into a folder and then we're also going to have the audio um, and then I'm just saying, hey, please save it. So now what we're going to do uh, is that we're going to try to process the video actually. Uh, so I have a function that is just here to plot the images so we can like understand a bit better later on. Um, so I'm just going to define this one. But otherwise here are the different functions that we'll use. So we'll have download video, which obviously downloads a video. Uh, then we have video to images, which extracts frame from a video at 0.2 FPS and save them as individual images. Then we have video to audio, which is going to extract the audio track, and then audio to text, which is transcribing everything. Yeah, so you, we have everything here. Uh, the code will be available, so you will be able to actually watch it later on. Uh, but you can see, you know, like everything is downloaded from YouTube. Then same for video images, you know, we have uh, 0.2 FPS we're using, and then we're just saving it as a frame. And video to audio is the same. Um, it like converts your video, it takes the audio out, and then audio to text. So we can also have embeddings for those. So let's get started. We'll actually then process the video, and then yes, we're gonna write frames, you know, every 0 0.2 uh, frame, uh, 0 0.2 FPS, sorry. And then we're writing the frames. Um, so we have 160 frames for this one. Okay, so this is done. I can show you directly the frames that we have. Um, so it's in mixed data. And this is an example. This is, you know, like a frame, and this is another one, and this is another one, you know, like it's just talking about different things on the Gaussian. So let's go back. Uh, so yes, so now we've processed everything, and now we can actually store and load everything into Melvis. So for this one, I'm going to use multimodal vector store index from Lama Index, actually, which um, builds separate collection for image and text embeddings. So first, because I'm using Milvis standalone, just make sure that Milvis is running with Docker. Um, and then here, I'm creating two uh, collection. So I have one, which is a text store, you know, which is a text collection uh, with a dimension of 1,024. And then the other one is the image store, which is the one that is going to store the image embeddings. And this one has a dimension of 512, because that's from OpenAI Clip. And then here, you know, I'm just defining, hey, we're going to use uh, the output folder where I have all my images and my videos. And then here, I'm actually saying, hey, we're going to have the documents, but also please don't remember we have like images. So then we can do a search on the text collection and the image collection. Okay, so after a bit, we have loaded everything directly into Milvis. Uh, so now everything is loaded in the collections. So we're going to start to build the retrievers, you know, so we can actually search uh, through a multimodal vector index. So I'm just saying, please uh, use this index as a retriever. And this index is the one we define here. You know, it's the multimodal vector store index. We're getting the top K5 uh, for the similar top K and then for the images. So also because we're going a bit custom here, I have to define a custom prompt, you know, just to give an idea of, to pixel of what it's supposed to do. So that's what we're going to do then. So I prepared, you know, like a template for the prompt where we define the meta for the video and then we also include the author, the title and the view count. Um, and then, yeah, it's basically, you know, going to have instructions for the model and placeholders for the context from the video and then the metadata and the user query as well. So for the sake of the example, uh, this other metadata uh, for the video that I've shown you before. So we have the author, the title, and the amount of views. So we're just going to get those. So this is the prompt that I'm going to use. So given the provided information, you know, including relevant images and retrieve context from the video, I correctly and precisely answer the query without any additional program knowledge. And so it's important, you know, that I also say, hey, we're going to use images and stuff so that the model is aware of that. So we're giving the context here, and then we're giving the metadata for the video, and then this is a query from our user. So we just define it. And then here I'm defining a retrieve function which is going to retrieve the most similar text and image embeddings based on the user query um, using Milvis. So we have the retrieve here, and then, yes, basically it's either it's going to retrieve images or then it's going to retrain, uh, return some text, sorry. And then we uh, return both at the same time, so we return the retrieve image and the retrieve text. And if I have a look now, I can already basically do a rag using Milvis. Um, we can have a look. This one, uh, it's kind of where the magic happens, actually. So... We're going to define the query uh, from a user, and then we're going to retrieve the relevant images and text snippets. And then we're going to just, you know, bundle everything. So the query is using examples from the video, explain all things covered in the video regarding the Gaussian function. And so, you know, we're getting the image and then we're getting the text. And then I'll just show you uh, everything. So this is what we have. And here we have the text, which is saying the basic function underlying a normal distribution, aka Gaussian, is e to the negative x squared 
And then, you know, we have like different contexts. And then those are also the images that were used at the same time. So, you know, so we did the search on images and on text at the same time. But then what if we want to use Pixel as well with it? You know, that's also a different part. So this is what we have. So I have my Pixel that is deployed using VLLM. And VLLM is a framework to allow you to deploy LLMs easily uh, on your stack. And yes, I'm using Koyab Cloud Infrastructure because it makes it way easier to deploy um, different models. And also they have a very nice tutorial using VLLM. So then it's fairly easy uh, to deploy it with them. So we're going to have a connection to Pixel. Then for each image, we encode it to base64 so I can like actually give it to Pixel. And then we're going to write a message combining the text query, the context, and the image. Then we send it off to Pixel so that it can you know, think and give us back the answer. Uh, so this is what we have. I'm using the OpenAI client because VLLM is compatible with that. Uh, so that makes our life way easier. Here, I just have the URL of my endpoint, uh, and then I have a token as well. So this is you know, what I said before. Uh, we have our image, which is in base64. And then this is the message we're sending uh, to Pixel. So it's going to be like, OK, this is the text. And in this text, I'm going to use actually the prompt that I've used before, that I've shown you before, where I'm going to give the context, the query, and the metadata. But then there's also another one, which is we're going to give a human image URL, sorry. So then Pixel can actually read it and then understand it. And then I'm just saying, hey, please uh, complete my chat uh, and give me some answers, basically. So we have it. And then, so you can understand a bit better, I'm also going to plot the images alongside what is generated by Pixel. So this is just the function that is doing that. And then, yeah, again, we can ask, you know, the same query using examples from the video, explain all the things covered in this video regarding the Gaussian function. So this one, now it's actually, you know, querying Pixel, and we can already see the results. Uh, so we have the frame one, you know, and then we have a whole analysis by frame one. So the video, you know, like this one is giving the author because that was given, you know, as part of the template. And then it's basically then, you know, depending on the image and the text is going to like generate these text that you have here. So you have a whole introduction to the Gaussian function and then the motivation behind it and the convolution of distribution, you know, you have that. And then you have that for different frames or, you know, we have an analysis. Um, and then, yeah, those are the different frames that was chosen uh, by Pixel and that were chosen also with a multi-vector index on being the most relevant ones. And then, yeah, uh, Pixel is then generating all this text here. Yes, basically, now you've seen how you can, you know, run multimodal RAG using Pixel and then using images and text at the same time. And you've also seen how to build a multivector index using Lama Index and Melvis. And then you'll also see how you can use Koyab uh, to deploy a VLM application. So if you found this tutorial very useful, I uh, would really appreciate it if you were to give us a gift, GitHub star. That really helps us. Uh, you can find the link directly or you can scan the QR code. Also, if you have any questions, you can add me on LinkedIn. I'm Stefan Batifo, and I gladly help you about anything related to Gen AI or vector database in general. Have a lovely day. Bye.